And a big heads up as you're starting off your Monday today also kicks off early voting for the November election. Get out there and vote if you can. Connor Bohr joins us live in the newsroom this morning. Connor, I know people in Austin will be voting on uh, multiple statewide measures, but they also have some city propositions too. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right, Hannah. They will be voting on both Prop A and Prop B. Let me break down what these measures will do if they're passed. Let's take a look first at Proposition A, the most controversial local measure on the ballot. If approved, it would increase Austin police staffing to two officers per 1,000 citizens, increase yearly training, and also it would increase minority hiring and community engagement. The city said it would cost between $54 million and $119 million per year over the next five years, which could cause cuts to other departments. That is one reason why firefighter and EMS unions, as well as the local American Federation of State, County and Municipal Employees are against Prop A. But the folks behind the measure, Save Austin Now, claim the city has the money to pay for it. We know we need 300 to 350 more. We don't believe that will happen in one year, but we should try. This unfunded mandate that is on the ballot will cause severe layoffs and it will also put a burden on the taxpayers. Proposition B would allow the city to trade about nine acres of parkland on South Lakeshore Boulevard, where the central maintenance complex for the Austin Parks and Recreation Department currently sits in exchange for 48 acres of waterfront land and a new maintenance facility. The land they are on now is next to Oracle America, the expected bidder if this proposition passes. Early voting starts today and ends on October 29th. Election day will be on Tuesday, November 2nd. You'll want to study up before you head to the polls. It is so important to be an informed voter and you can read up on everything that will be on the ballot on KVU.com. Hannah, a beautiful Monday to get out there and get that vote in. Thank you so much, Connor, for that.